Welcome to Java Forum. Now I am going to show you how to install SQL Server 2022 Express Edition on Windows 10 and connect with SQL Server Management Studio 19. So before I proceed to install, I am showing my uh, computer uh, device specification. So uh, so uh, my Windows is uh, Windows 10 Pro uh, 22 H2 Edition, so that is latest Windows uh, and 13th generation Intel Core i9 processor. Okay, uh, so here you can see that I have already downloaded SQL Server uh, Express Advanced uh, Edition. So I am going to uh, run this file. Okay, now uh, you can see that uh, SQL Server Installation Center are open. So. Go to installation menu, new SQL server standard installation or add features to existing installation. Okay, click that one. You can see uh, license terms windows open, accept the license agreement. Click the next button. So I'm not using Microsoft update as of now. So I'm skipping the update. Okay, so install rules, uh, Windows Firewall is showing uh, warning, the rest of the uh, rules uh, is passed. So Windows Firewall is not an issue, if you are uh, installing a local mission, uh, Windows Firewall will accept the connections. So no problem when you install a local mission, click the next button. So I am not having Azure account. So I am checking that uh, Azure extension for SQL Server. Click the next button. So feature selection, I am selecting all the feature. So Windows PowerShell 3 and Microsoft MPI version 10 uh, is uh, required. So it will be uh, installed automatically if it is not installed. Okay, uh, instance configuration, you can see named instance uh, SQL Express. So I am leaving as it is. So I am not going to rename that uh, SQL Server instance. It will be SQL Express itself. Click the next button. So polybase configuration uh, specify the port range. So port range also I am leaving as it is. And click the next button. Next uh, server configuration you are seeing uh, multiple uh, services. SQL Server Database Engine, Polybase Engine, Polybase Data Movement, uh, Launchpad, Full Text Server will be installed. Collation uh, default collation will be there. Click the next button. So now uh, I'm going to configure database engine. So provide the password for the user called SA. So SA, system administrator, SA is a default uh, user. I'm providing the password for that user called SA. So make sure that you are selected mixed mode SQL Server authentication and Windows authentication. So, and these are the location of uh, data directories. Make sure that if you want, you can uh, change the uh, location of data directory. So, I'm not going to change the data directory location. TempDB. So, this is settings for TempDB. So, TempDB, let it be default one. Memory tab. So, memory tab also default. Let it be default. User instances also will be default on file stream. So I am going to enable the file stream. Enable file stream for file IO access. So Windows share name will be SQL Express. Uh, let it be uh, as it is. I am just enabling the file stream for uh, transact SQL access.
okay everything is set now so let us proceed for installation so installation is started So SQL Server Express Edition installation is completed. You can see all the features are installed for SQL Server 2020 Express Edition. All of them are succeeded. So you can close the setup. So if you want to see the log file, so uh, you can see that uh, summary log file. So in case any installation failure, you can verify this uh, summary log file. So everything will be uh, logged. The install actions will be logged into this uh, summary file. Okay, click the close button. So I'm closing the SQL Server Installation Center. So next I'm going to install SQL Server Management Studio. So that is a separate download. So here you can see I already downloaded SQL Server Management Studio 19. So I have provided the link in the description of this video. So before proceeding the SQL Server Management Studio installation, I am going to start menu. You can see these are the items uh, available in start menu. So I am opening the SQL Server Configuration Manager. SQL Server Configuration Manager. So you can see SQL services, uh, SQL server services, what are the SQL server services running? So these are the SQL server uh, services running by default. So SQL server network configuration uh, protocol for X, SQL express. So I am enabling the named pipes and TCP IP. Why? Because uh, in case you are installing SQL Server in a virtual machine or you want to connect to network means, make sure this uh, these protocols are enabled. Then only you can able to connect to uh, SQL Server instance in via network or LAN or uh, anything. Okay. So outside the machine, if you want to connect means, make sure these protocols are enabled. Named uh, pipes and TCP IP protocols. Okay, that's all uh, in SQL Server uh, Configuration Manager. Okay, now next SQL Server Management uh, Studio setup. So run as administrator. So this is a uh, SQL Server Management Studio uh, 19 setup with Azure Data Studio. So click the install button. It will in install SQL Server Management Studio 19 with Azure Data Studio. So uh, only through SQL Server Management Studio 19 only you can connect SQL Server 2022 instance. Previous version of SQL Server Management Studio, uh, we can't connect the latest SQL Server edition. So setup is completed. So let me open a uh, SQL Server Management Studio now. Go to Start menu. You can see uh, SQL Server Management Studio is got installed with the SQL Azure Data Studio. So SQL Server Profiler also got installed. Okay, now I'm opening the SQL Server Management Studio 19. Okay. See, this is the uh, server name. By default, uh, SMS SSMS will automatically select the SQL Express instance. So I am going to log in as a system administrator. Provide the password, whatever I giving during the installation. So connect to the SQL Express instance. So you can see that I can able to connect to SQL Express instance running on Windows 10. So now I am going to create one database. Already some databases are there. So these are all system databases. Okay, so system tables, SQL Server system tables will be there. So newly I am going to create one database. So I am creating one database called a student. 
so these are the details of student database that is uh, uh, data directory location everything is uh, there think student database is already there so i am giving some other database demo i am giving the database name as demo so these are the details of demo databases okay a nice time creating one new table providing the column details column name and data type simple table i am creating just for beginners save the table so provide the table name so i am giving the giving the name as details table so refresh you can refresh the table you can see that new table is got created so right click the table so now i am going to uh, generate one insert query and insert one row to the details table so already insert query is got generated so i am just in uh, inserting the values that's the data make sure that you are giving the data in correct syntax so string should be enclosed with single quotes select top 1000 rows will give you the fetch the records so you can i can able to see that the record is not inserted so okay select the insert query and click the execute button can see one row affected yeah so one row affected should uh, message should be displayed then only uh, the record is got inserted okay no problem uh, now you can able to see that after running select query i can able to fetch the records so that's all about uh, sql server uh, 2022 express edition installation on uh, windows 10 and also i can able to connect to sql server management studio 19 Uh, make sure that you have installed the latest version of SQL Server Management Studio. Previous versions of uh, SQL Server Management Studio will not work. Uh, 